Harry had appeared on television since his, um, he called it an ironic joke um, about um, a date drug uh, that he gives to his wife every night. Did you have any sympathy uh, for him for potentially trusting somebody or, or making uh, a rid ridiculous joke that he shouldn't have done? Uh, well, it's for the Home Secretary to be accountable. Program. Thanks so much. Now, bad news for millions of train passengers who are likely to face fare hikes of nearly 5% this year. Uh, it's likely to happen, Ashna, in March. Yes, that's right, Kay. For millions, the commissioner is this morning. What about where you are? Now, it's a tradition that is observed right around the globe. Do you do it? Coming up on the programme for you, heating up. We'll look at concerns of who's responsible. Well... Zoe is with us, as is James. Zoe. Well, that the, what is touted as the hottest period since God knows when uh, really is that. It's very difficult to... Um, what I have to say to you, your audience, and to the people upstairs who are in your ear, the executives and the people in power in Sky, is I cannot believe that you're platforming. Surprised uh, my colleague here is on a platform with somebody who's uh, genocidal. That's a new... Such as cutting out alcohol or coffee, that discipline then you know, transpires into working out and eating healthy. So Doable, though, and what sort of impact does it have on your body when it when you shock it to no coffee or no chips or, I don't know, <laughs> obviously I never have any of those. <laughs> I think, like, in the first couple of days, you're going to get... You know... Now, something else that might keep us healthy, yeah. I'm reading that COVID vaccines might be available on the high street. Yeah, so that's the plan. So, obviously, I did... And can you have your COVID vaccine and your flu vaccine at the same time? Yeah, so... It... People um, being tested uh, for cancer. I, I went to, I have regular checks and I went yeah. to see my specialist the other day and he said to me that many of us will have three cancers in our lifetime and we won't die from any of them. We're going to be diagnosing more people earlier and hopefully they're surviving longer. And my next question to the doctor was, what does oh. all that mean for the NHS?